Welcome back to The Daily Buzz. It's 23 minutes past the hour. The music of Disney's been enchanting and entertaining audiences for generations, from the first time Mickey Mouse whistled a tune in Steamboat Willie to the modern-day phenomenon known as High School Musical. And Walt Disney Records is celebrating its remarkable 50-year history with a special collection. And here to tell us more about it is Disney writer, producer, vet, and author of Mouse Tracks, the story of Walt Disney Records, Greg Airbar. Good morning, Greg. Good morning. So I'm talking to Greg. I'm like, how long have you worked for Disney? 20 years. Yeah. And you've got the ring to prove it. Can we yeah. show everybody the ring? Uh, ring? Can we get in on the ring here? Camera three? It's like t t QVC. Cool? Yeah, look at that. It's like the <laughs> Disney ring. 20 years. How neat is that? 21 this March, actually. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. So Walt Disney Records seems to be hot right now with High School Musical and Jump In. How has that affected the Disney catalog? Oh, it's tremendous. It's tremendous. It's like the, the record company is an empire within an empire. No kidding. Yeah, and it all started back with Walt and Roy back in the 50s because the whole matrix of what they're doing now goes way back to the Mickey Mouse Club and Annette Funicello, which the success of Annette led to the success of the Shermans, led to Mary Poppins, led to the building of Walt Disney World because one thing leads to another. So just like now at High School Musical being the number one uh, album of the year. And you can't help but think of Britney Spears and, and mm -hmm. Christina Justin Aguilera, all Justin Timberlake, all from the Mickey Mouse Club. Absolutely. And now we've got, uh, we're launching Corbin Blue with a Jump In and uh, the Vanessa Ann Hudgens just made her album for Hollywood Records. And, uh, and Ashley Tisdale. She's on Warner. So, yeah, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a tremendous, tremendous launching pad. It's almost like um, a, a younger set of the American Idol because the public is choosing these, these films and these uh, performers. And, uh, and, and they're just becoming really a huge phenomenon. Without a reality show behind it, they're actually responding to the show itself. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about the book Mouse Tracks, the story of Walt Disney Records. This is beautiful. I love the color. <laughs> the cover. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah, thank you very much. Actually, Tim Hollis, uh, who's the uh, co-author of that, chose that. It's actually it's a real ad from around 1960. Really? With, with, uh, that was one of those send away for 10 albums for 1999 kind of thing. Oh, my gosh. So what is in the book? Well, it's really a book about people. Uh, it, it has over 40 biographies in it. And it talks about people you've heard of uh, who did different Disney things. There's a story about Steven Spielberg in there and Drew Barrymore. We have um, biographies of people you have never really heard of, but you've heard a million times, like the lady who used to sing the Star Trek theme, the oh, sure. she's in there. Um, people who sang the Gilligan's Island theme oh are in there. Um, uh, people that you grew up listening to and finally know what they look like, because we have a lot of photos, a lot of information, a lot of Disney stories that were never told before. Oh, and great. it's very thrilling. Thank you so much. It was an honor to have you here. More information on the book. And, of course, there are two CDs out as well. You can go to dailybuzz.tv. You can also go to mousetracksonline.com for more information. The Daily Buzz continues in just a moment. These are fantastic.